Hello everybody, Naked Raid Super Kids here. Back at you again with a deck profile. This time one that's not jank and is pretty competitive from what I've seen so far from testing. But at the same time, it does have its own uh, special flair that like, makes it unique in a way. And it's a deck that I like to call Zombie Hand Control. And you will see why, or you might even be able to see already. Uh, basically, we run a straight package of normal zombie build with uh, three Pyramid Turtles, two Spirit Reapers, although you could use a third if you like. It's especially good against uh, decks like Warriors, which might not be able to get over it uh, once it's face up. Uh, then we run one Vampire Lord. You could run two, and in fact I cite it against decks that it's useful against, but uh, Vampire Lord has the problem that it loses to a lot of monsters in combat, even against like aggro decks, which could get monsters with 2,000 attack. As well, uh, its effect can end up uh, milling the opponent of cards that they don't want from their deck, essentially making card quality in their decks better, and you really don't want to do that, especially late game. Uh, then we have two Ryukoki, because it's really good against Chaos, which almost everybody is running currently. It runs over Cast Sorcerer and pretty much anything that the opponent might be running. Uh, it can even crash into uh, Monarchs if you want. And it can crash into a BLS to destroy it. I actually had an opponent who forgot that Ryukoki has an effect and attacked into uh, my Ryukoki with their BLS and ended up destroying it. Uh, as well, we are running two giant rats to search out the Pyramid Turtles and two other cards here, including Exile Force. Uh, just a good card to get off of Giant Rat as well as the one Sandigan that we're playing searches for it. Uh, then we have a another card that is searchable by Rat and Sandigan, which I talked about in my Hidden Attributes Earth which is Great Phantom Thief, uh, level 3, which is good for ducking under the effects of a, a lot of things like Gravity Bind that I actually ran into while testing this deck. As well, it has 1000 attack, so it gets under Messenger of Peace, although we have a couple cards that do that already, so we're pretty good against them. And uh, Phantom, Great Phantom Thief has an effect that's kind of like Don Zalug, except for it's also kind of like Mind Crush. Uh, if this card inflicts battle damage to your opponent, declare one card name, look at your opponent's hand, and if you do, discard all cards with that name in their hand. Uh, so this can discard multiple cards of the same name as well. It has an additional effect of actually letting you look at your opponent's hand, which Mind Crush actually doesn't allow you to do. Um, even in GOAT format, it's been ruled now that Mind Crush does not let you view the opponent's hand. Basically, you can use this effect to pick the exact card that you need to get rid of in their hand uh, when you want to, and you never end up hitting Sinister Serpent or Thunder Dragon, which you might not want to hit. Of course, you'd never want to hit Sinister Serpent, but Thunder Dragon especially. And I actually had a couple situations where this discarded two cards from the opponent's hand at once. It's... Uh, um, you might not want to run this in the main deck and maybe in the side for game two or three, but if you know the decks they are running up against pretty well, you can end up using this to a lot of efficiency. You just think of the card that would allow them to out your current board, or that would uh, really, really suck if they had it and that they couldn't have had already on their previous turn, and you just call that. And then even if you're wrong, you know all the cards in your opponent's hand now and what they can do on their turn. And if you get to attack with this again on uh, a next turn, you can know which cards to call then. And uh, we are running alongside that three trap dust shoot, which lets you see the opponent's hand. Uh, again, this also says look at your opponent's hand, unlike my crush, which does not. That allows you to, even if this ends up totally whiffing, you know what cards you can discard with the Great Phantom Thief. Like I said, this has actually been pretty good in this deck, and uh, really effective. And it combos alongside our uh, Spirit Reapers with uh, Kaiku, the Ghost Destroyer. Not only does Kaiku prevent your opponent from summoning Chaos Monsters, because your opponent can't banish cards in the graveyard, uh, it also removes monsters from the graveyard from play, 
So if you end up having them discard a card uh, with Spirit Reaper or Great Fan Thief, you can immediately remove it or remove it soon enough with Kaiku. And uh, it also lets you get rid of things like Sinister Serpent. You don't want them to return to their hand and then make your discard card useless. Uh, because almost everyone's playing Chaos, I prefer to run three of these. Although it does have some anti-synergy with the two Book of Life that we're running in this deck. So it's up to you if you want to run only two of these. And maybe if you're playing against like Chaos Turbo, which you probably are about 80% of the time, decide on the third or just keep it out and include another Spirit Reaper or a Decayed Commander in place of either Great Banner Thief or Kaiku. Uh, Decayed Commander is a level 4 zombie, 1000 attack, 1, 000, uh, 1500 defense, and it's an Earth. And the first effect doesn't matter, but if this card affects battle lives to your opponent by a direct attack, discard one random card. So it's kind of like halfway between uh, Spirit Reaper and Great Fan of Thief in a way. Although personally I'd uh, before then prefer to run just a third copy of Spirit Reaper. Because a lot of decks uh, have a problem outing it. Unless they have like Sasuke Samurai. Uh, or they have to waste their GD Warrior Lady. Or use a Chaos Monster to get rid of it. Uh, then of course you run the Sangan like I mentioned earlier. Two Book of Life. Of course, the trio, Delinquent Duo, Graceful Charity, Out of Greed, A Storm, Sequel Space Typhoon, Double Nova, and a Cross Out, Premature Burial, because the Book of Life isn't always live. And uh, because, especially because you're running Kaikus, which remove monsters from the grave as well, uh, Book of Life is not always going to be live. And Premature Burial just makes sure it's live more often, although it has anti synergy with Spirit Reaper, unfortunately. And then we have Snatch Steel. Uh, just take the opponent's monsters and you run some tributes so you can end up tributing it if you need to. Uh, or if these like get stuck in your hand, something like that. Uh, as well, I run a Lightning Vortex to help clear the field for direct attacks from Spirit Reaper and Great Fan of Thief. And as well to get rid of these cards that are stuck in our hand and to summon them with Book of Life. One Smashing Ground to also again help clear the field especially of Gravekeeper Spy, which more people are running. Um, of course, Riot Koki can run over it, but Vampire Lord and anything else in the deck can't. Pretty useful to have, as well uh, outs cast monsters, because usually they're the monsters the opponent controls with the highest defense. I have one Call of Haunted, one Mirror Force, one Ring of Destruction, one Torrential Tribute. I have one copy of Sakuretsu Armor, sort of as filler, and so that we can stop the opponent from attacking when we need to. When we have like uh, when we have like Pyramid Turtle or Giant Rat. Then we have three Psalm Judgment, which is extremely powerful when you're already getting rid of cards in the opponent's hand. Uh, so like if you're discarding cards with Great Bandit Thief and Spirit Reaper and thinning out their hand with Trap Dust Shoot. Uh, especially with Trap Dust Shoot, you know which cards now that you have to stop the opponent from playing. Uh, and basically, I've had more than a couple of duels where the opponent only had like one or two cards left. And I had double or single solemn for that one card, and then like, well, I lose as soon as I solemn it. So other considerations for the deck, like I said, is Decayed Commander. Uh, as well, if you don't want to run Solemn Judgment, uh, you could run uh, Injection Fairy Lily. She doesn't play well with Solemn Judgment because she has to pay a lot of life points, but she's good against Chaos because she can attack over an attack position DLS. Uh, the third Spirit Reaper, like I said, a lot of times, uh, and like when I'm going to be going second, I side out the three Trap Dust Shoots, and I'll include uh, Tribe Infecting Virus in the deck if I know the opponent's like playing a Spy or a Heavy Chaos build. And then I'll also side in another Sakuretsu Armor. And I also have in the side deck two Widespread Ruin. And the reason I have two Sakuretsu and two Widespread Ruin is because King Dragon decks, or decks that tend to summon them, uh, aren't affected by Sakuretsu Armor, but they are by Widespread Ruin. So I'd rather, if I wanted to side into them, side in like have two Sakuretsu and one Widespread, or just have two Widespread Ruin instead. Um, I don't really use the third Book of Life if you 
you wanted to use that, you could like get rid of some of the monsters like Great Phantom Thief and Kaiku and put in another Spirit Reaper and uh, Decayed Commander, etc. so that you can better utilize them because there's only a, a thin number of zombies in this deck actually. You might even be able to get away with just one, but I prefer to play the two personally. Uh, then we have DD Designator, which you can side against uh, opponents. Uh, I wouldn't main deck this because not everybody, a lot of people, but not everybody runs Sinister Serpent, which is the main card they're going to want to hit with this so that your discard effects are more effective. And uh, it stops the opponent from reusing things like a Regeki Break, etc. You call a card name, much like the same with uh, Great Fan of Thief. And then if the opponent has that card in their hand, you remove play that one card. Unlike Great Fan of Thief, it only removes one card. Uh, and if you fail, you end up having to remove one random card from your hand. So don't use this if you think that you have a Regeki Break. Or if you're not sure what they have. Or if you're going to have game anyway if they don't have the card in their hand. Uh, then I have another copy of Smashing Ground if the opponent's playing spies and such. Or really big monsters you have to get rid of. And again, this helps get rid of King Dragon as well. Because it does not target. Then we have uh, two Dust Shoot against decks that use a lot of back row. Because uh, our deck... Uh, has a lot of traps as well, so we don't want to run Royal Decree. Uh, then these Tutan Mask I never used, and I wanted to test them out, but I haven't tried it out. It just negates a spell or trap card that targets one zombie. Uh, but unfortunately, uh, it doesn't work if your zombie's face down, doesn't have a clause, like you can flip the monster and check it with the zombie, so it doesn't help against no one across that, unfortunately. If it was spell trap or monster effect, it would be really good to cite against go control decks, but as it stands, uh, it's not that great. Uh, then for the extra deck, we just put a random monsters in the extra deck. Remember that even uh, uh, online, you have technically an unlimited extra deck and you can add more mid duel as long as you have your extra deck filled out. If you just go in with an empty extra deck, it's assumed that you just don't have one. And there's no reason to not have one because you never know if someone might creature swap you or some crazy person might decide to use exchange. Uh, but yeah, that's the deck for now. Let me know what you guys think, if you have any ideas for improvements. And if you play the deck, let me know how it goes. Thank you very much. Have a good one.